What happens to all the animals if everybody just goes vegan? Well, despite what I would like, the world isn't going to go vegan next Tuesday. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot. Doesn't matter. Say in three months, every single person on this planet is vegan. What's going to happen to the animals that they grow? But that's, it's a pointless thing to talk about because it's not going to happen. Well, the thing is, as you said, one thing. Yeah. Okay, I think one thing you left out of it, again, I'm speaking for myself. Yeah. I'm my own little corner. Yeah. I believe in God. Yeah. When did I say blessings? Yeah, you said you have to have a count of blessings. The thing is that oh, okay, yeah. to me, to me, these things are created for our needs and nourishment. I'm 100% with you concerning animal cruelty. I mean, that is a no. Yeah. In some places, I think it should be a capital punishment for that if they really hurt animals or so. Yeah, yeah. But these animals were created for our use. Okay, let me answer you. Let me answer you. Firstly, let me answer your first question. What happens if we all go vegan? The world isn't going to go vegan overnight. It's impossible. It's not going to happen in three months. It's going to take years and years. There's only so many animals here today because of our demand for animals. We create a demand for animals, so they keep breeding and breeding animals. They literally force their, anim their arm into an animal's anus and they inject the cows with bull semen on an apparatus called a rape rack. That's how we get animals here today. There's so many animals here because of our demand. As the demand for animal products decreases, so too does the amount of animals bred into existence. So we'll never have this, this scenario where there's all these animals running around. As we start demanding less animal products, they will breed less animals. They will just simply be less animals in existence. What would be the purpose of all this? What is the purpose of us? All right, all right, let me answer your second question first, and I'll get to that. Second question is more of a statement. The, the statement was, animals are here for us. God put them here for us. Let me ask you a question. What kind of loving God would put animals here who are feeling sentient beings just like us for us to just slit their throats? What kind of loving God would do that? That is the work of the devil. If you want to believe in one of those things, that is the work of the devil to kill these innocent beings like that, especially when we can live and thrive without doing so. There's no religion that mandates eating animal products. No religion says you must eat animals to be healthy. You have a choice. What do you think God would prefer? A loving God to be compassionate and respectful to animals or to mutilate and torture and kill them for foods and products we're better off without. What does that sound like, God or the devil? It's so simple, man. Well, I have, a, I have an answer about the God part. Of it, about the Tell me. Part, but I'm not going to get to this because this is not the arena. This is the arena, man. When it gets to the religion, I mean, we all free, everyone is free to choose what they want. And if I, if I my voice, my opinion, will be taken up time. But I do have an answer. That's what it's for. This is what this time is for. Please, if you have an answer, go for it. This is, this is something else. Completely. We have a, I have a good answer for this. Why? Answer. Is this. That's what we're doing. These animals, again, go back to what they said. These animals, not all, some, were created. Okay. It's like believing, I'm sorry if anyone believes in this, but that to me is like believing in Santa Claus. Take what you think is good from it and leave the rest because that is ridiculous to think that their only purpose to, with all this joy and all this feeling and the emotional complexity of these animals and how they care for their babies and their families just like we do, they care for their families. And you're saying their only purpose here is to be food for us when we can easily eat something else. Do you not see how crazy that is? The way you're talking about... Oh, I do. The way you're talking about killing animals is like we are doing the greatest crime on the face of this planet. Okay, let me ask you a question. If someone... We're talking about animals now, not humans. Humans are animals, my friend. Yes, we are the highest intelligence form of animals. Actually, we are the stupidest because you can't even understand this. We are the stupidest animals. Look what we do. Uh, maybe I'm 
Look what we do. Are the animals destroying this planet? Are the animals destroying the rainforest? Are the animals polluting the water? Are the animals saying that... I have an answer for that. What? That's the purpose of man. Read. <sighs> what kind of idiotic god would make such faulty people? What an idiot. No. Excuse me. God, man. How can you believe... You talked about the couple, the farmer, his wife talking to you. I know, man. I'm not perfect. Because I'm not perfect. Because I'm not perfect. I why are you losing it? Why are you raising your voice? Because you... I tell you why. Because I care about them. I care about them. I'm... Look, listen. No, you don't. I'm sorry that I'm getting upset. I usually try very hard to be compassionate and loving. But I'm tired. I'm jet lagged. I came from Australia. I'm not perfect. I can't always do this the best way. Don't take my example today. I am not doing the best that I usually do. I apologize for that. Is that, I'm sorry, but is that the excuse? I'm telling you I'm not perfect, my friend. I'm not perfect, and I'm not nobody doing the best job I can. Is. Yeah, no, nobody is. It's a man's greed that we are destroying this planet. Yes, it is very greedy to choose your taste buds over an animal's life. I agree. That is what you're talking about. We are destroying this planet. Yes, we are. Anywhere you want to look at it, anywhere, trash. Plastic all around. It's irrelevant to this conversation. We are destroying this planet. Yes. Because of our greed. I agree. I, I completely agree. Now, what could be more greedy than thinking your taste buds are more important than their life? What could be more greedy than that? Tell me. The thing is this. Again, I go back to what I believe. These animals were created yeah. for our use. Yeah, that's very convenient. And white people and white people believed that black people were here for our use. And men believed that women were here for us. It's the same. You have a superiority complex. It is the same. The idea is the same. The superiority complex is the same. You think you're superior to them just because they're different. Men thought they were superior to women because they were different. White people thought they were superior to black people because of the different color of our skin. Humans think that they are better than them because they are covered in feathers or scales or wings or fur. What do you think is so special about humans that makes us better than them? We have no right to hurt a single animal. Yes, I agree. <laughs> But the question is this. Yes. Again, from, again, I'm speaking from my little corner. Dogs are not edible for me. They eat them all over the world. But they do. I'm not all over the world. I'm here. Okay. Okay. What's the difference I'm between a dog and a cow to you? Dog. Okay. I eat a, a, a meat that is suitable and that's good. What does that mean? For me, for, for example, it would be fish, chicken, or sheep, or, or cow. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I would not eat these animals. Okay. Because they are not created for our nourishment. Because of the disease they carry. Fuck. Okay? <laughs> Mate. That, that's one of the things. That's Listen, let me stop you right there. You stopped me all the way, but go ahead. Well, actually, I'll let you say that statement, didn't I? Okay, so you don't eat dogs because you think that they carry a disease. I don't think it's proven. <laughs> Should we just end this? I don't know. Yes. If you don't have an answer, you can end it. Ask him, you, 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 you eat raw? No, I cook it. Why? You cook it. I cook it because of it tastes better and it gets rid of a lot of a lot of germs. Listen, I brother. I'll let me. I'll answer. I'll answer. Look, in a lot of, they are edible. They're just as edible. In fact, you could eat a human if you wanted. Go for it. It's it's still meat. It's We're still not flesh. Give you the nourishment that you need. You don't need to eat animals to get nourishment. I haven't eaten animals in four years. You don't need to eat them to get nourishment. I do not, I do not really disagree with you, but what I'm saying yeah. is. I'm saying this, these, some of these animals were created. In your opinion? Yes, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, let me ask you one last question. You have a choice. You have a choice right now. You want to be a good person. You believe God is loving. You want to be good for your God. Okay, so here's your choice. You can, if you want, pay people to mutilate and torture and kill these animals that feel pain and suffer just like we do, that have fr friends and families just like we do. You can choose that. Yes, I can't stop you. You can choose to contribute to all that cruelty and violence and killing if you want. Or you can choose not to 
and you can still thrive and be even healthier and eat delicious food and be on the side of peace and kindness and respect to those animals. You can choose either. Why would you choose to contribute to that violence and cruelty and suffering and murder? Tell me. Why would you choose that? The way you put it, the way you put it, is like someone's just standing there slaughtering these animals in the worst, cruelest way possible. But we're not talking about that. Yes, we are. I mean, you are, but I'm not. Well, I've been there, and I've seen these places, and I've been to countless I of the... I agree with you. So that's how it happens. Do you think that the meat you buy comes in some magical different way? I agree with you 100%. Okay, so then it, that's the, then that's it. That's the meat you buy from the supermarket. So why would you choose that? The thing is this. When I go hunt, one shot, to put that in Yeah, and you took, that, and you took someone, baby's mum from them. You took a baby's mum from them when you killed that animal. You could have eaten something else. That animal is for my nourishment. You could have eaten something else. You could have eaten something else. You killed someone's mum for your nourishment. You could have easily eaten something else. You think that's okay? You think that's an act of God that he'd be happy with? You killed someone's mum. That was put for my use and I use it because I have to choose. I have to free. Yeah, you've made the choice to be on the side of cruelty and violence and murder when you could have chose something else. That's the devil, my friend, not God. You're on the side of violence and cruelty. You become religious devil. Why do you bring devil into it? Because that's, the, you, that's the, what you talk about. You're talking about God. I don't, don't want to talk about religion. All of us because that's your language, bro. Don't, don't change the subject. No, you are the one who brought them names. Okay, like forget devil. the devil. It's cruel and violent and, cruel and no, unnecessary. Bro, they already said it. <laughs> Alright, next question. Bro, you just not... You're not getting it. And it's sad. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you because... You're trying to force force you pay people to force knives in animals throats that's what you do okay i'm not forcing anyone to do anything i'm up here giving a speech i'm encouraging you to not contribute to violence and cruelty i'm encouraging you to do that and I thank you. you're welcome and i wish you would take it on because they suffer unnecessarily and if if you spent one minute in their shoes if you knew what that was like i know you wouldn't do it because you're probably a great person. You're probably a good person. And in fact, if someone started punching that dog in the face right now, you'd probably stop them. And if it was a pig, you'd still probably stop them because you're probably a good person. Yet, you think it's okay to pay other people to stab them in the throat. Or you think it's okay yourself to shoot them in the head. And that is what I find so sad because an otherwise probably good person is doing something so cruel when they absolutely don't have to. That's what I find sad. I'm not forcing you to do anything. I'm not here to, I, I, I don't have a gun to your head and I'm not forcing you to eat a tofu burger. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm encouraging you to make a choice that causes less harm. And you're telling me, no, I have a right to kill. I can kill, I'm gonna kill. Even though I don't have to kill and I understand what you're saying, I'm gonna kill anyway. And that's what makes me sad. You wanna kill when you know you don't have to. So thanks for your question. Yes.